we are going to talk about filter design pattern. A filter design pattern is a structural design pattern. This pattern will combine various criteria to form a single criteria. This will filter a set of objects using different criteria and draining them in a decoupled way using logical operations. Let's take an example where we have a criteria that's an interface which will have meets criteria method and we have classes such as contractor and FTE where these contractor and FTE classes will implement the interface called criteria and we'll have employee objects. Each of the employee object will have an employee type, whether it's a contractor or a full-time employee. We can have more criteria similar to contractor and FTE, such as and or or logical operators, and we can have a combination of these criteria to filter out the employee list. Within this, we have a filter test where we will have our main method to execute the scenario. Let's build this example and see how it works. Let's open our Visual Studio code and create a new file called employee.java that will have private string name and private string employee type. Let's generate getter and setter methods for both name and employee type. And this is our Pojo class for our employee. Let's go ahead and create our criteria interface. Criteria.java. This would be an interface. Within this, we will have public list of employees and we will call the method as meet criteria. This will have a list of employees. Employees Let's import this and go ahead and create our new class called full-time employee.java. This is a class file which will implement criteria. And let's override our method public list employee meet criteria and list employee and employees within this we will have list of employees fte employees equals new array list of employees Let's import this list and array list, import array list. Now let us iterate through all the employees. Employee, employee, some employees. Within this, we will check employee dot get hemp type dot equals ignore case would be FTE. Then we would like to add it to FTE employees. Employee. And now we will return these list of elements FTE employees return. So here we are filtering all the full-time employees and returning those full-time employees. Similarly, let's go ahead and create a contractor.java that will implement criteria and override public list of employees 
and the meat criteria within that we will pass list of employees employees and let's create our list of contractors contractors and this will be list of employees within this we will create new array list of employee and then we will iterate all the employees that we get as parameters employees within this again we will check if employee dot get emp type dot equals ignore case and contractor we will append to our contractors list add employee now we would like to return our contractors list return contractors so this is our contractors criteria now let us create our final class called criteria test dot java this will have our main method main method and let's create a list of employees employees equals new array list of employees and within this let's create new employees add new employee john he would be an FTE. Let's import this list. Okay, let's go ahead and create our constructor. We forgot to create a constructor public employee string name string m type within that this dot name equals name and this dot and type equals and type now if we go back to our main class we, we have created john and now let's create a few more employees employee dot add new employee will call us amanda and she's an fte let's create few more employee dot add new employee we'll call george and he would be contractor Let's create one more last employee. Employee dot add new employee David. And he would be a contractor. Now let's create our criteria. Criteria FTE equals new FTE. Similarly, let's create our criteria contractor equals new FTE, oh, new contractor. Here, let's create system dot out dot print line. Let's call this FTE within this let's create 
let's create a method to print all the employees public static void display that will take all the list of employees employees and within this we would like to iterate through the list of employees employee employees and here let's print print line let's say name would be employee dot get name similarly we'll go to the next line and then we will say type of employee would be employee dot get amp time so here we are just printing employee name and the type we will use this to print list of employees display we will say only FTE employees we would like to print only FTE employees let's pass that employees that we have created to FTE.meets criteria this is employees not an employee let's change it to employees similarly we would like to print line only contractors here so our criteria is contractors only here let's print this new contractor contractor dot meets criteria and employees so if you see here we have created an employee list and we have added all the employees to that list and next we have created criteria FTE and we used this FTE dot meets criteria and passed all the employees now if you print this statement it will print only FTE employees similarly if you take all the employees and pass it to contractor dot meets criteria it would print all the contractors let's go ahead and compile all the files within this folder java c asterisk dot java this will compile all the files so once it has compiled let's test our main class criteria test so if you run this and see the results it has printed fte and within this it has printed all the fte employees john and amanda are fte employees similarly contractor it has printed all the contractors within our employee list this is a very basic criteria which we have used with single criteria such as fte and contractors this could be used for complex things using and or and any of the logical operators and also combine these criteria within to form a complex criteria. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.